I don't know why the powers that be at TLC keep sending Danielle out on these dates, but that's what I want to talk about today. Hey, welcome back to my channel. My name is Debbie. I am the She in Sheality TV, and today I want to talk about uh, 90 Day Fiance, The Single Life, specifically Danielle. So, if you remember Danielle, uh, she dated Muhammad online, and he's from Tunisia. She brought him to the U.S. and da 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 that whole that whole story. If you're watching this video, it's because you already know about that, so I'm not going to elaborate on that. But anyway, she's now on 90 Day The Single Life and she's dating. Now why I, I why the powers that be at TLC felt to throw her back into the dating world, I have no idea. She's been on a couple of dates. I guess they hired her some friends. Um, I call them the FFCs, uh, Friends for Clout. And they, uh, you know, went on a girls trip and they set her up on some dates and uh, put makeup on her and like sent her out on a couple of dates. And those obviously didn't work out. So now she's going on this date with this dude named Robert. The guys that they were setting her up with before, no. Nah. Completely not her type. You could almost see that they were not her type. Like, you know, they're in their 20s. They're, well, one was like, one of them didn't have the brains. God gave a brush, but that's neither here nor there. He was just not her type, like completely not her type. This dude, this Robert dude, is so much better for Danielle. I can't even, like, I can't overstress it, right? He's 50, he's got kids her age, like he's much closer to her age and her, um, her place in life, okay? So they went on one date and that was cool. He asked her out on a second date. They go on a second date and they're going ax throwing. Why is it that everyone's going axe throwing all of a sudden? Like on all these shows, they go axe throwing. On Seeking Sister Wives, they went axe throwing. On Ready to Love, they went axe throwing. Everybody's going axe throwing. I'm starting to think that TLC set up this axe throwing place as a place for their, their cast to go and film, right? They film dates there, but anyway. So they go to this axe throwing place and they interview Robert and he, sa he says that, you know what, he thinks Danielle and him would make a good match. And uh, like I said, because they're at the same place in life. And uh, you know, he would like to see if, you know, they could maybe be something long-term. Cool, perfect. So they sit down for coffee and you know, they're making small talk and she asks him how long he's been divorced. And he says, you know, he does the math and he says he's been divorced about 10 years. And then he asks her how long she's been divorced. This was a mistake. She, she he asks her the question and she starts out with, Okay. Now, when you ask someone a question and they give you the big sigh and the huge, overly exaggerated shoulder shrug, you know you're in for something. So she says that she was with her kid's dad for 22 years. But her ex, who is Muhammad, they lived together for a year and a half before he left. But he said some things and she started to get all emotional. What she says is she wants to tell him about her past so that they can get it all out on the table and they can work through these issues together. Okay, this is me. This might not be how you think, but I feel like who the hell wants to come into a relationship with someone who is overly emotional still about their ex? Anyways, let me get back to the date. Danielle starts to tell Robert about, you know, she gets up and she, like, she starts to well up and she gets all emotional and overwhelmed and she starts to cry. And she goes, I need a minute. She gets up and she goes into another room where a production assistant or someone tries to talk her down. And this poor Robert dude is sitting at the table like, like what, who wants to be the person that gets left at a table by someone who is so overly emotional about their ex that they can't keep it together? Who wants to get into a relationship with that person? 
So long story short, her scene ends there with the production assistant trying to talk her down and poor Robert sitting at the table thinking, well, what, like, what the fuck just happened? She's so, like, she says that, you know, some of the things that her ex said and, you know, now we all know that exes can say some really shitty things. And I'm not saying she shouldn't be emotional about it. What I am saying is, TLC, why the fuck did you put her back on this show to get out and start dating? She's not ready to date at all. She's not even close to being ready to date because she can't sit at a table with another man without bringing up her ex. She can't go out without, she can't go out with anyone without bringing up what Muhammad said about me and he said that no man would ever want to be intimate with me. And Why are you telling people that? Why are you telling another man that? Why are you telling anybody that? Why would she tell anyone exactly what he said? Because a man is going to be like, Well, if your ex said that no man would ever want to be intimate with you again because you have older problems down there, what the fuck am I doing here? Why would he want to go? Why would he want to be down there? If your ex doesn't want I don't know. And TLC, if it's you guys telling her that she should be telling these men this information, shame on you. She should keep that to herself. She shouldn't be airing it out all over the place and let, let alone telling dates, like guys that she actually wants to get to know who think they want to get to know her before they find out that she has an odor problem. Why would you tell anyone that? Make her stop telling people that. You know what, make her stop dating. She needs to stop dating. Danielle, you need to stop dating. You need to not take that baggage to another date, let alone try and bring it to another relationship so that some poor bastard can help you get over it. You're supposed to do the work before you get into another relationship. This is not some other man's issue to solve, it's yours. That's all I've got for Danielle and her dating life for today. My name is Debbie. This is Sheality TV. I will see you next time. Peace.